Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I achieve this look. So here are some of the materials that I'm going to be using in this video. Just a couple of things. So here I'm showing you guys. This is two yards of fabric from two for two dollars that I got from Walmart. This is perfect for beginners because if you are afraid that you're going to mess up it's fine because the fabric was only two dollars and then it's so much fabric it allows you to be able to do things more than once okay let's get to it so what you want to do is stretch your fabric out over your table or your floor and then get your favorite dress or a dress that matches the fabric that you are using so i have stretchy fabric so i went ahead and got a stretchy dress I wanted this dress to be short, so I uh, folded the bottom, and I also didn't want any sleeves, so I also folded the top, and you just lay it flat. The next thing you want to do is take your chalk pen, your chalk marker, or whatever you have, and outline your dress, but what you want to do is do it about an inch and a half away from the dress so that you can have the seam allowance because if you do it close to the dress and then you sew your dress is going to be too small so again make sure you do it about an inch and a half away from your dress as you can see I am doing it so you're going to have to kind of eyeball um, the shape of the dress which is quite easy um, to do Okay, as you guys see, I am going um, over and tracing both sides of the dress, but I will not be using both of the shapes. What I am doing is I'm drawing on one side and then I'm drawing on the other to see which side I feel like um, I drew the best. So you'll understand what I'm talking about in a little bit. So just keep watching. So right now I chose which side I feel like I drew out the best shape of the dress and that is the only side that I'm going to cut out. So once I cut this out, I will fold that piece in half and cut again. I'm not going to use the drawing that I did on the other side. Again, I just use, I just do both sides and I kind of look and see which side I feel like is the best match of the actual dress shape. And that's the side that I use. You don't have to, but it allows your dress to be even on both sides when you just, once you cut one side, you fold it in half. It allows you to have a, a more even shape on both sides. Okay, now I'm taking my ruler to go across the top of the dress so that I will be able to fold it over. I'm not really good at using the scissors to cut next to the ruler, so I just took my um, fabric pen and just drew a line across the ruler, and then I'm just going to cut that part. Okay, as you can see, I'm removing the dress and I'm just going to fold my fabric in half and cut the sides of that. I'm placing a mirror and a candle on the fabric that I'm not using so that as I begin to cut, the fabric won't begin to fall on the floor and start to mess up my cutting. That's just, that's why, just in case you're wondering why a mirror and a candle is all of a sudden there.
when you're cutting the side of the dress in half, you don't have to worry about seam allowance because when you've cut the first side, it already allows seam allowance. So cutting the other side is basically, you know, you're already doing that. So don't worry about doing seam allowance when you cut the other side. Okay, so when you're normally making a dress, you only want to cut out two shapes, but this fabric is very thin, so I'm cutting out four. So if you have a thicker fabric, only cut out two. And right here, I'm showing you guys exactly how to cut it out. You're just going to put that piece that you just cut out on top of the fabric and just cut the shape out. But again, you don't have to use four if you have thicker fabric but this fabric is super very see-through so i had to double up As you can see here, the fabric was uneven, but since it's kind of longer than um, the original cutout, I just tried to make it even because I'm still going to cut some of the bottom off as well. Just make sure you're very careful when you are cutting because you can easily cut into the original fabric because you have to cut so close. Again, don't worry about seam allowance on any other cutouts because you already did it on the first cutout. So that means you need to be you need to be as close as possible to um, the original cutout when you're cutting. But be careful because you don't want to make cut the original fabric and make it even smaller because then you're going to have to make everything else smaller and your dress might end up being too small altogether. Okay, here I'm showing you guys that I do have my four pieces. It just um, stacked. So here are my four pieces on top of each other. And now I'm just going to sew those pieces together, the stacked ones. So I told you that my fabric was too thin, so I had to double up. So this is me doubling the fabric so that's what I'm sewing and I'm going to sew this fabric in a complete what should I say 360 I don't know but I'm sewing every end of this fabric all the way around so that it's like I'm creating one thick fabric if you understand what I'm saying if you are using a sewing machine to stitch if you have stretchy fabric, the best setting to put your sewing machine on is a zigzag stitch. Because if you use a straight stitch on stretchy fabric, it takes away some of the stretch from the fabric. You can see like a Z kind of has um, separations, which will allow it, allow it to stretch. But zigzag stitch to me is kind of hard, like my sewing machine. Stretchy fabric and zigzag machine, it really don't want to work out together, so you have to go slow with it or just get it down packed, or maybe it's just me. But just go slow with your go. I'm sorry, I'm so tongue tied. Go slow when you're using your sewing machine, and be sure that as you sew, you are keeping both fabrics completely aligned. You don't want the fabric to slide to the left or slide to the right because when you get to the other side, you won't really know what to do. Your dress is completely ruined and uneven. 
I'm not using pins, but you could have used pins to pin all four sides down then so. But me, I kind of like to just go down a little bit, about two or three inches, and just hold my fabric together. As you can see, my finger is kind of there, keeping everything intact and in alignment. So as you can see, I'm turning the fabric because again, I am going to sew every corner of this together to make one fabric. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed all four sides on both of my pieces to create one thicker piece. So now you should have two uh, pieces. And I'm going to place those on top of each other and just sew the sides together. Obviously, you don't want to sew the bottom or the top so that you can be able to get into the dress. So just sew the sides together. And again, you want to make sure that everything is in alignment keep the two fabrics sandwiched right on top of each other we don't need any of this fabric swaying left right up or down because then throw the whole dress away i'm just saying you don't have to throw the whole dress away but then you'll have to buy a seam ripper and kind of just start over so if you're impatient learn patience go slow when you're sewing hold the fabric down or just pin it all together it's up to you Okay, so I didn't record myself sewing both sides, but there you have it. There's your dress. Flip it over on the other side and your dress is done. Now you want to take whatever furry fabric you have and you want to cut it to the shape of your front and take some fabric infuser or whatever you have and just glue it right on the top. And you'll see right here what I'm talking about. That's how you want to do it. And there you have it. You're done. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more beautiful things like this one. Bye.